In the next few clips, we'll demonstrate Heidelberg's Pernet Prepress Manager software. Let's get started by launching the cockpit. Cockpit is the job interface and is a client-based interface that works on both Mac and PC. Identical look on both. We'll start a job by selecting it from the context menu, entering our job number and our job name. We'll step through the assistant and enter any pertinent information to the job itself. This is a group template that holds multiple processing steps that we'll see in just a moment. Optionally, we can set a due date if applicable. Once the assistant is done, the job opens up automatically, and we can just look at those processing steps. Each box that you see is a set of instructions for the PDF. We have pre-flighting, 100 different checkpoints for pre-flighting, which can be enabled or disabled, and have either a warning or an error associated with them. This would be set up according to your shop standards. Color management and trapping is also done in line to the production PDF. These are again user defined values. We have imposed PDF for layout proofing as well as contract proofing with a directly connected Epson proofer. Anytime that you see a line drawn between two sequences, two processing steps, it's a form of automation. It's a hands off procedure that as a prepress operator, I don't have to do anything to the PDF to get the job from one processing step to the next. We'll now go ahead and just drop in a PDF for processing. Drag and drop into the window and automatically the PDF starts processing. We can see the status in real time at the lower portion of the window. This is letting us know what's being done at the current time. Switching to our pages view now, we can actually see a thumbnail of the production PDF. This is a working copy of the original PDF and will be used for production. Switching views is very easy with a click of a button on the keyboard. It will bring me to a different window showing me different information about the job, including a dynamic link to the pre-flight report. This pre-flight report shows us an overview of the document, summary, and details of the actual pre-flight. Clicking on a link will open up the production pre-flight report, or the production uh, PDF rather, and show us the report navigator. This is a tool within the PDF toolbox that allows us to navigate through the pre-flight marking the offending objects on the PDF that have been flagged by our pre-flight. Highlighting each one of the warnings will show us what the indicated warning is. Stepping through using the arrows will take us from one warning or error to the next. Now this benefits us greatly in the production environment, but as a customer, they're not going to have the PDF toolbox loaded at their uh, site. So how they benefit from the pre-flight is automatically the system generates sticky notes that are tagged to the actual PDF itself displaying the pre-flight text that came from production. This makes it very easy for your customer to understand what's going on with their job with as little as Acrobat Reader to open the job with. We'll go ahead and close those. and get back to our job. We can now edit the PDF if applicable. By double clicking on the thumbnail, we can actually see again the production PDF and edit it in any way we need to. Using the PDF toolbox, I'll show you a couple of the additional tools that we have to offer that can streamline the efficiency of PDF production. Editing a trim box within the document is very easy, making it efficient to be placed in the layout further downstream. We can type in what we desire as our new trim box to be, or drag it 
to a desired place within the document, even snap it to a stroke within the document if applicable. Once done, we can apply that new setting to the current page, all pages, even pages, odd pages, or a desired page range within the PDF. And this can be done throughout all the tabs within the PDF toolbox. We can scale our job, our PDF, content only, scale the page, or give it a target size to be scaled to. This can be done proportionally or unproportionally within the job. We can rotate the PDF in any way we see fit, even vertically or horizontally mirroring the PDF. Regroup would allow us to split the PDF in portions of two, three, four, or five. This comes in quite handy when a customer has supplied you with a reader spread or a printer spread document we can split this document in half as you see by the green line indicated in the center of the screen. That would make two pages out of this single page PDF. According to how the customer had sent this to you, we can then sort the pagination accordingly for page production. Now trapping is done in line to the PDF and can be viewed and changed if needed. So we'll highlight all traps on this particular page, and 43 traps were found. I'll go ahead and zoom in on one of them so we can see it a little bit better. Utilizing again the PDF toolbox and trap changer, we can take a look at the traps that have been done automatically within the PDF, see that I have a stroke being trapped into an object, the direction of the trap is done automatically based on neutral densities and can be changed within this tool. The direction can be changed to opposite or center line, change the color if needed, change the size as well. Clicking OK will apply those changes and we can see that that trap is now changed in the PDF. The actual trapping is a layer within the PDF and remains editable all the way through production, all the way until we rip or render the job. We can undo any changes made and zoom back out to full view. We also have what's called object editor. Now this object editor is similar to the tool that you may be familiar with, which is the global change within pit stop. If I choose an object within the page, I can see what is selected. It is a stroke and it has a certain color value, overprinting and so forth. If I wanted to, let's say, change the color of this stroke, I would select all by color and type, and then maybe change the color as desired. We can also change the geometry of what's selected, the line weight, the miter, the line end, what position it's in, scaling, and the position, rotation, etc. If text was selected, we would be able to change font size, character spacing, word spacing, even the desired font itself. All edits now complete. We can exit the PDF toolbox, see that the changes were made to the document, and then save our document. Close it and get back to our job workflow. A dialog box stays open at this point in time because we've made a change to the PDF and that was done interactively so the system tracks those changes. We can now type in what we did to the PDF. This goes into the history of the job and can be viewed at any point in time. Now let's take a look at the colors that exist within this job. Automatically, any colors of the same name, but maybe different extensions, will be mapped together automatically. For instance, Pantone 032C and 032CVU. Those two colors, if seen in the same job, would be mapped together automatically. If we choose to individually change or edit the colors within the job, we can do so 
giving it a new target. For instance, this M9Y43 spot color, I would want to output as a process color. I can even change the screen value on the fly. Manually, I can output one color to another. Now the type of a color is very important and can be selected at this time if it's not automatically selected. Normal color, opaque, transparent, those all have properties that could influence trapping and should be set accordingly at this point in time. The usage is also important. How do we intend to use this color within our job? Is it maybe just for proofing, a dye line? or maybe a foil stamp that should be used as a tool. Even a color that may be a varnish that we would want to print on a printing unit but don't have any color control within our color control marks such as color bars or mini spots. These settings can be selected at this point in time. Any user defined settings at this point can be exported as a custom color in our user defined color table. Therefore, any time that color comes into a new job in the future, that new property would be adapted to that color. We now have prepared pages that have been pre-flighted, color managed, trapped according to our shop standard. It's been viewed by the customer as a production PDF with the sticky notes open in Acrobat Reader for easy viewing as well as any editing to the production PDF and color settings changed. We're now ready to apply a layout to this job, which we'll see in the next clip.